if you don't vent the room when using spray paint, you nearly pass out. Ah, I can't breathe. Ah. R2D2. Oh, hang on. I've decided to go for the uh, splats first, and so this is a mixture of spray paint and uh, normal paint, so it's just dripping. Um, so then I've got to go back into it and uh, paint R2. Oh, that's right, this is this canvas. This is for the uh, coat of arms. Uh, uh. Ooh, it's a big one. It's one of these, it's a big uh, Loxley Gold canvas. These are really nice canvases. If you want a really good one, go for the Loxley Gold. Quite a large paintbrush. So 18 apparently. It's not a very big 18 there. And then we've got a dark red. And a sort of a dark yellow. And that's how Artie's coming along. Not too bad. A bit confusing. Makes my head hurt a bit for some reason. Yeah, I've put loads of black on this side. So bring him out a bit because the moment he's getting lost a bit. But fun. Needs a lot of darkness and it's too bright at the moment. But good fun. That's not blood on my head, that's paint. Um, right, just started, I just started the coat of arms I was on about, except that I ordered the wrong bloody paint. I ordered heavy body paint. This stuff, heavy body is just code for lumpy. Um, it's not the best paint though, I don't really like it, so I need to uh, get the proper one because um, it's just a pain in the ass using this stuff. Anyway, the coat of arms is underway. Here it is. You can just about see it. You've got like a bull there and like these like I don't know what you call these plumage coming down uh, anyway that's started but the one that's more interesting is Mr. R2 uh, come on focus there we go it's not looking too bad it's looking a bit too busy at the moment I need to uh, I need to flatten things and see what happens I'm unsure on him at the moment um, he's not really going to plan um, which is a shame but um, I'll have to just see how it goes I'll keep, I'll try to finish it. Oh, well, I will finish it, definitely, and uh, see how he looks at the end. Good morning. Uh, woke up to pretty good news. The Delamore project has been given the green light, so that's really good news. Um, I'm really happy about that. I mean, I'm completely and utterly terrified about doing a four-foot painting, uh, four-foot by two-foot, no, sorry, for four-meter painting um, and attaching it to a listed building somehow with big meter-long um, hearts coming out of it. I, 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 it's scary. Um, R2D2 is nearly finished. Getting close. Done quite a bit too now. A lot of spray paint around the corners. I just want to make the. I think the head's got too much detail in. I think. I think the head's too, too complicated. I think I need to simplify a bit. So, um, I don't know what I'll do. I haven't really decided. I don't know. It needs. Yeah, it needs to simplify. And it's got too too complicated I think um, not really sure to do with it but I'm sure I'll figure it out I'll have a mess around with it in a minute I put up a Harry Potter poster to cover up that sick wallpaper <laughs> it was driving me mad so I took a risk and just threw two lumps of paint at it to see what would happen and I think it's okay I think it's rescued um, here's our two all finished there he is couldn't get the balance right. I think it's not too bad now. I'm not a thousand percent happy with it, but um, I think it's because there's no real character in his face because he's a robot. He's a bin, really. I really just painted a bin. Um, so I've had to try to make the interest more with the paint than what I'm painting. So hence the uh, trying to get some movement in it. Uh, it's okay. I think from a distance it looks very good. I think the uh, the composition, the balance is, is not bad and. Uh, Imagine that in like a uh, on a white wall in a very uh, contemporary looking house or a contemporary looking wall that looked pretty cool. The coat of arms is underway. Camera, if I showed you that, just trying to get the colour balance. I think that's quite a nice yellow, sort of uh, between a a yellow and a a gold, I guess. Um, pretty good. Uh, that red paint I bought is fucking horrible, so I need to uh, need to get some correct paint. Oh, good news! I got accepted to the uh, Northcott exhibition when I applied for. Northcott Theatre in Exeter 
I apply for it. Why is the lens gone? Steamy. As I said, I have got an exhibition in the Northcott Theatre in Exeter. That sounds very posh. It's very dark in here. And these are the two paintings which I'm just going to pack up, ready to be delivered tomorrow. We are sending Anna, which is quite an old painting. They're from about 2010. Uh, she's been to a few exhibitions, but as you can see, she's pretty uh, large. There's my foot for comparison. <laughs> and then Panda Girl, which is Katie in her Kigu suit. And that one is pretty new. So those two are going off. So I'm going to bubble up those two. Um, and they'll be going to exhibition tomorrow. I might film... No, they're going to delivery tomorrow to the person who's running the exhibition um, down in Exeter. Um, I can't um, remember her name. Karen? Might be Karen. So I just whipped up some tags. There we go. Pretty basic, just a bit of paper and a bit of card. A bit of mount board, actually. Um... They're quite big, um, but these are what's this is the size when I asked for the exhibition. Um, so they're there, they're going to go in the envelope. Good morning. Today we are going to Exeter to drop off, drop off those two paintings, and it's sunny. Mirror shot. <laughs> uh, right, time to pack the car. Me and paintings. Here they are, all bubbled up. And they're all bubbled. Sleeping panda all bubbled. Bubbled. Tags. Um, now we've got to get them into the car, which will be uh, exciting. And shall I take you out to the car? Why not? Let's go. Mm. I forgot to record anything. We dropped off paintings in Exeter. Then we went to do it. It's very cold. They were very, very windy and my ears hurt. Very tired, are you? Yeah, my ears hurt too. Now we're going to Bristol. And at the moment we are on uh, something something to do with cars and roads. Ah, it's Monday morning and stress, stress, stress. Um, a deadline I thought was the 28th, which is said on the original sheet, actually was brought forward to the 21st, which was Friday. I've just missed it. Um, so now I'm trying to contact the person to see if I can get the are into them to get into the brochure. I've got so much to do, it's making my head spin. The show that I thought the deadline was this Friday, it was last Friday, um, I'm trying to sort that out now and decide on the collection. The collection will be uh, the Sherlock painting, which you've seen, um, the John Lennon one, which I was planning on finishing on Friday. Um, I'm gonna put in this Marilyn Monroe one, which is down there, um, and uh, one of Kate Moss, Quite a big one. Oh, the, the, the Delamore installation on the side of the house that's been given the green light, so now I've got to order the parts for that, the parts, the material for that. So I need to sit down and figure out how much of that I need, which is it's is going to take a while because I don't want to mess that up, I thought, because it's money. Um, what's the other things? That coat of arms painting, I did a bit of that over the weekend because I knew I was a bit behind. Um, it's coming on okay. There you go. It's, it's very blocky, but uh, I think it's going to be because that's the style. Hour and a half later, two hours later, um, I spoke to the gallery and they're cool. I can get them to them by get them to them by the end of the day. So today I need to do something I wasn't planning on, and that's take photographs of those two paintings. Those paintings are about a year old, and since then I've got much better at taking photographs of paintings. So once the sun's out, I will get out there and take the photographs. Uh, John Lennon is looking cool. Um, <laughs> there you go. If I get a portrait, that's not going to help, is it? But there he is. He's looking pretty darn good. Um, I put a bit of splats and drips in, which I said I wasn't going to do at the beginning, but um, I just enjoy doing that too much. But um, I've left his face alone, his face got no, nothing on it. Um, still need to finish off the eyes and the glasses and a bit more definition to his stubble and clean up a few bits. I'll probably clean up like that. Um, put a bit more definition back in here, maybe put this bit back in. Um, but other than that, he's nearly there. Um, Mainly working on Delamore stuff um, for uh, the exhibition and for the um, installation. We've got another month of that left, um, but other than that, 